Welcome to another episode of Hook's Head. It is Ryan here today, and I am going after smallmouth bass once again. A lot of you guys reached out to me in Instagram, as well as some of the YouTube comments, and have told me that uh, I was fishing the wrong spots. Here's to a second chance. Let's go at it, and uh, hopefully we can get another one, or a few, or ten. Here we go once again. Oh god, my boat smells like fish and oatmeal and strawberry jello. That's probably related to my car fishing videos. Okay, let's go. Hopefully it's nest up here. It's still holding a few fish. It's early morning. Well, not that early. I think it's around 7.30, so I think there's a top water bite I can take advantage of. Okay, I think last time my mistake was I wasn't using a fast action rod. My ultralight was a little too whippy so I couldn't really set in a hook into these guys as quick as I'd like to. So. a lot of hits but they're all kind of small. Here's one. What we got here. Oh there's a smallie. Okay, sweet. Oh. I think I should tie on a spoon. <laughs> I think I can get a reaction by that, these guys. It shouldn't be too hard. I just need to have a spoon on. Okay, if I see him rise, it's fair game. Oh, oh man, I had a hit right there. That was a good hit. Feels like a bike minnow. There's a pike minnow on the spoon. Nice. What a tubby one. Nope. I'm gonna go after the smallies in here. Here's a fish. What was that? Is that a pike now? Oh man, he just slurped it off the top there. That is a lot of cotton, I think. Or spores, or whatever is coming off those trees. Ooh, it's coming down. But I am kind of curious how these docks kind of kind of fish, so. I'm gonna try and get a little close to them and let's see if I can just kind of pick off a smallie here. If you have any rocks, you can find. Yes! 
Oh man, I'm throwing the kitchen sink at them, man. <laughs> There's like barely anything biting. <laughs> Yeah! So satisfying because it's like almost doing the impossible. <laughs> I could have gotten this guy ages ago if I just used a regular slide. First cultist like Smalley for Corey here. It's a good day. Good day. No island fish for me. <laughs> <laughs> Either Osoyas or the island, but it's nice to come uh, to a local lake. And I got it on the fly too. Sweet. A little weedless Senko. Boom. That kind of trumps my theory. I didn't expect to get anything that big today. Mm. That's not even that big, but. It's spawning size, right? Mm. I've seen one spawn that size. Mm. So Well fishing with rod said like the biggest tag so far was slightly under four. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. really awesome. So there's something chilling around here, yeah. you know. I was hoping to get a tag fish. Yeah, that It'll would be, be the picture. Oh yeah. I don't think anybody's gotten a picture of that yet, have they? Not yet, not yet. Yeah. yeah. Well let's keep trying. Okay. I got him like ten feet in front of the boat. <laughs> so I might have he might have chased it all the way. He probably chased it. Yeah. That actually gives me a lot of hope seeing like something a little bit larger than the ones I've been catching. Like yeah, right. mine are like puny. That one at least it's it's sizable. There's there's hope. Oh yeah. All right guys, I'm gonna head out, man. Right, man. Yep, later. Yep. I think that's gonna do it for today. Uh, total hookups, well, not too many. I think I got three or four, but uh, it's, it's a work in progress. We found some new spots, so I think that's a win in my books. Um, shout out to Corey and Ray. It was nice to fish with you guys. Hope to fish with you in the future. Hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye for now.